All right, forget everything you know about coding. What if I told you that the future of app development isn't about having strong technical skills? All you need is a good idea and the ability to describe it clearly. Now, vibe coding has taken the world by storm. And in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how you can join in on this movement. I'll be explaining what vibe coding is, show you a few cool examples of vibe coded apps, as well as some ways you can make real money with it. Because trust me, there's a huge untapped opportunity right now that most people aren't even aware of. In fact, last week, I built this cloud career coach using a tool called Emergent and it's got all the features I need. User authentication, AI powered recommendations and a payment gateway for premium purchases. Want to take a guess on how much money I spent and how long it took? Well, $5 and 28 minutes to be exact. But before I share how I built it, let's talk about what vibe coding really is. So vibe coding is when you build software by simply describing what you want in plain English rather than just writing traditional code. You tell the AI your idea, it generates the code and then you can keep prompting it with changes until you're satisfied by the result. Now, when many people hear the word coding, they might think that it's only for developers. But here's the truth. You don't actually need technical skills to vibe code an application. I mean, yeah, it helps. But as a non-coder, there's nothing stopping you from building mobile games, SaaS apps, and even complex AI systems. All you need to do is chat with a simple interface. And this is something you'll already be familiar with if you've ever used ChatGPT. If you're watching this video in 2025, the timing couldn't be better. While everyone's still learning Python and React, you can literally skip all of that and go straight to building real products that can make you money. As Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI has said, we're moving towards a future where the barrier between having an idea and implementing it is disappearing. This means every idea you've ever had that you thought was too technical to build can now be made a reality. Now, you might be wondering, why has vibe coding taken the world by storm? Well, it's because even experienced software engineers are choosing to vibe code instead of manually typing every line. For years, it was accepted by the tech industry that end-to-end -end applications would take weeks or months to build. But nowadays, programmers can come up with an idea, mock up the complete interface and functionality with AI, and then push it to production in just a few days. This completely changes the game. And right now there's a bit of a gold rush as both startups and established companies are joining on this vibe coding movement. In fact, the hardest part now is coming up with the idea and knowing exactly what you want your app to do. I do have to mention though that vibe coding, like other areas in tech, does carry its own risks. For example, if you're looking to scale your vibe coded app to thousands of users, it could be prone to security flaws if you don't handle the authentication and data security carefully. If you're a non-coder, I'd recommend partnering up with a more experienced developer, especially if you're looking to build a startup or collect personal information. Okay, let's now talk about vibe coding tools. What can you use to vibe code an application? Well, you've got a few options depending on what you want to build. If you're a complete beginner, you can even get started with something like ChatGPT. Here's a cloud career quiz I vibe coded by just typing in my requirements. It's a single file HTML app, but for something simple like a quiz, it gets the job done. But ChatGPT is currently limited to super basic applications like static websites and mini games. If you want to build a complete end-to-end -end application with features like authentication, Stripe integration, and AI-powered recommendations, you'll need a more advanced tool. What I use is this platform called Emergent, which is specifically designed to help you vibe code production-ready applications. You can build, test, launch and scale all in one place. What I found really interesting is that within the first three months of launch, Emerger has become one of the fastest growing AI startups with over 1 million builders and over 1.5 million apps built. Pretty impressive. We're going to use it for today's tutorial because it's free to get started and they provide you with a decent amount of credits when you sign up. But before that, let's take a look at some of the apps that other people have vibe coded and then I'll walk you through how I built my own app, which is this cloud career coach. Okay, so here's a few examples from the vibe coding community and now I'm going to show Share with you some of my favorite ones. The first is this digital subscription manager. What I can do is add in my subscriptions and then it calculates my monthly and annual expense. The second one is this cool Flappy Bird game. You can also adjust the game settings, so the gravity, obstacle gap, as well as game speed. Next, we have this AI storybook creator. I can create a new story, select the age, theme, character traits, and let's see what story it generates. Bob's Jungle Safari Adventure. Pretty cool. And finally, we have this AI goal coach, which is actually where I got my cloud career coach idea from. You can enter your next big goal. So for example, get fit, add goal, and then click on get AI guidance. Cool, so it provides you with some action steps and helpful resources. This is a pretty cool way to keep track of your goals. Now, let me show you the cloud career coach I vibe coded and how you can create one for yourself. First, let me show you what it looks like. So 10x your cloud career with AI guidance. Let's start a free assessment. It's going to ask you to sign in or sign up. I'm going to create a new account. 
So I'll type in my full name, email and password. Nice, so I can sign in now. And here's the interface when I log in. I'm going to click on start assessment. And for example, let's say I'm a student. My level of experience is beginner. Current skills, AWS Azure. And then I'll type in my career goal. So for example, I want to become a solutions architect. Focused on security. Click on complete assessment. And there you go. It's updated my profile. There's a career roadmap as well as some next steps that I could take. What I also have in this cloud career coach is a motivation section. There's a career tip, there's a quote of the day, as well as some additional tips on how to form good daily habits and some weekly goals that you can complete. The third part to this cloud career coach is premium study plans. There's a monthly and yearly option. And if I click upgrade to monthly, it directs me to Stripe. So users can enter their bank details and make a purchase. Okay, now that you've seen what my app looks like, let me walk you through how I was able to vibe code it. And honestly, the secret to vibe coding is having really clear prompts. If we zoom in to the left-hand side, this is the prompt that I entered. Build a cloud career coach app to help cloud professionals 10X their productivity. I've listed the core features, including a motivation engine, daily motivational quotes, premium study plans. I've also added the technical requirements as well as the user flow. I actually didn't manually type all of this myself. I explained to ChatGPT exactly what I wanted and it was able to come up with this for me. And the reason I do that is just so that it can polish up the prompt a bit more. So once I typed in this fairly long prompt, you can see that the agent gets to work and it asked me a few follow-up questions. So key clarifications needed. And I pretty much just left it to the AI to decide what was best for me. And in just under 10 minutes, I was given this app. Now, as you can see, this is a full end-to-end -end app. So what I'm going to show you now is how to deploy it. And it's actually very simple. I just need to click on save to GitHub, select a repo. So let's say YouTube and push to a new branch. So cloud career coach, and then I'll click on push to GitHub. Nice. Okay. So if I view on GitHub, the project is now in my account. I can also choose to fork my project, which is great for testing and spending less tokens. Forking the session also helps you preserve context and also refresh memory. Anyways, now that I've saved the project onto GitHub, I can click on deploy and then start a new deployment. And deploying a project will charge you 50 credits a month. Cool, so I've clicked on deploy and the deployment is now in progress. While that runs, let me show you how credits work and also the pricing of Emergent. So as I mentioned earlier, Emergent is free to get started with. But if you'd like additional credits, here are a few options available. I've actually upgraded to the pro tier mainly because of how much vibe coding I do, but you can get a standard $17 a month one and it gives you 100 credits every month. In fact, I believe in the future of vibe coding so much that I've even migrated my own website, Zero to Cloud, to Emergent. So everything you see here was completely vibe coded. I didn't have to write a single line of code. And to give you an idea of how much it cost, it consumed around $100 worth of credits, which in my opinion is a pretty good deal. And in the future, I can easily add on more AI powered features onto my website. So now that you know how to vibe code, let's go through some important best practices that you need to know. The first is learning how to prompt the right way. I recommend checking out this guide by Emergent on crafting effective prompts. You can see here that you can follow a simple framework where you can specify the business goal, core features, target users, and success criteria. Next, remember Remember that version control is critical. Always use Git or GitHub to save your progress regularly. When something breaks, you can always roll back to a working version instead of starting over. And thirdly, try to understand your code. Don't just accept what the AI gives you. You can ask it to explain how things work and also add comments to the code. This will make it a lot easier for you to troubleshoot if anything goes wrong in production. Last but not least, keep security front of mind. Make sure you explicitly tell the AI to include security measures and add the right amount of protection in place before you scale your application to the public. All right. Right, onto the part you've all been waiting for. How can you make money with vibe coding? Well, the cloud career coach I shared earlier was one example, pretty much building something with a free version and then charging for its premium features. But let me share with you some real examples of people who are actually making money with vibe coding right now. First, there's Peter Levels, a game developer who launched a fully functioning game he vibe coded, earning $1 million in annual recurring revenue in just 17 days. And here's an interesting opportunity if you're a technical developer. There are now dozens of freelancers on platforms like Fiverr who are making money by fixing other people's vibe coded projects. But yeah, pretty much all you need is an idea in any niche and a solid business model. All right, this brings us to the end of this video. Let me know your thoughts on vibe coding in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.